So here's the simulation of the vending machine. When the user first puts in one dollar, the D flip flop over here turns on as it remembers the user's input of one dollar inside the machine. Then when the user puts in another dollar, the coffee valve opens and then the machine collects money. Also this D flip flop over here turns on as it remembers if the user has put in two dollars inside the machine. Then in order to reset these flip flops, uh, you press the reset button which clears all the inputs and in all the flip flops. If the user just right away puts in two dollars, then the coffee will be dispensed and then the machine collects their money. If the user puts in one dollar, then they press the cancel button. The one dollar D flip flop over here resets, and then uh, the user's money will be returned. Lastly, if the user puts in one dollar, then they put in a, a two dollar. The user will get their coffee dispense, the machine collects the money, and then uh, they will get back the extra one dollar that they have put in. So here is the real circuitry of the vending machine based off the simulation. First, the inputs and the outputs are all pulled high. For the inputs, C represents if the person wants to cancel their money. Then this is if the person puts in $1, if they put in $2, and the R represents the reset button for the entire circuitry. For the, in terms of the outputs, red represents when money is being cancelled, yellow equals to money being collected by the machine, and green is when coffee is being dispensed. The power source, in total is 6 volts, containing four AA batteries, each having 1.5 volts. And for the clock, it's powered by a 555 timer, and the frequency is 1 kilohertz, which is shown on the oscilloscope over here to the right. If the user puts in $1, then the vending machine will first store in the user's input. Then, when they put in a second dollar, uh, their coffee will be dispensed and the machine will then collect the money. However, if the user just automatically puts in two dollars, then their coffee will then just be dispensed and the machine will collect money. If the user puts in first one dollar, and then they press cancel, the machine will give them back the one dollar. And lastly, if the person puts in one dollar, and then they put in two dollars, they will first get back the money, uh, get back the money, and then they will also. Uh, get their coffee and the machine will collect the money. One more thing before this video ends, you might have been wondering why did I put a pair of knot gates over here, here, and here? Well, the reason is to add a delay to the clock input in order to allow the D input to completely process and enter the flip flop. Before, when I did not add these gates, the clock input signal will enter the D flip flop too early before the D input has even processed or entered the flip flop, making the D output a stay the same instead of changing.